Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to estimate decimal quotients. And when we estimate, we find an approximate value to the exact answer. There are a lot of different strategies we can use to estimate. The ultimate goal, though, when it comes to estimation is to round and manipulate the problem in order to find an approximate answer in your head or with minimal work. There are no specific written rules for estimation, but I'll show you a couple of my favorite strategies when it comes to decimal division estimation. So let's jump right into number one here, where we have 23 and 8 tenths divided by 4 and 75 hundredths. So the first strategy I'm going to talk about is when we take a look at our divisor first. So the number we're dividing by. So in the case of number one, it's going to be four and 75 hundredths. And I'm going to round that divisor to the nearest whole number. And four and 75 hundredths, so when we round to the nearest whole, we look at the ones place, look next door, and four and 75 hundredths is going to round to five. So once I have that, I need to look at my dividend, the number we are dividing. And I need to find a number close to 23 and 8 tenths that can be divided by 5 without a remainder. They work out nicely. And those are called compatible numbers. So I need to find a compatible number close to 23 and 8 tenths um, that's compatible with 5. So in the case of this, our compatible number is going to be 25 because I can do 25 divided by 5 very easily and I get an estimation of 5. A counterexample to that compatible number would be, let's say, 26. So 26 divided by 5, yes, that's a real math problem, but those aren't necessarily compatible numbers. They don't work out nicely. So not compatible here. So our estimation is 5. This squiggly equal sign, that just means an approximate answer so it represents our estimation because we don't want an equal sign there because that problem doesn't equal 5 um, unless it works out that way. We estimated to get 5. Now the exact answer to number 1 is a very long decimal so I rounded it to the hundredths place and our estimation is actually very close. The exact answer is right here. So you can see how they compare and our estimation gave us an approximate value to that exact answer. On to number two, where we have 80 and 12 hundredths divided by nine and four tenths. So I'm going to show you two different strategies for this one, and I'll start with the same one we used for number one. So we'll take a look at the divisor first, the number we are dividing by, and I'll round it to the nearest whole number. So nine and four tenths is going to round to nine. So once I have that, I need to find a compatible number that's close to my dividend, the number we are dividing, so 80 and 12 hundredths. So I can think to myself, well, 81 is a compatible number with 9, and that's going to give us our first estimate. So 81 divided by 9 is 9. Now another strategy we can use, we can actually take a look at 9 and 4 tenths and 80 and 12 hundredths. Take a look at the problem as a whole and see if you can spot two compatible numbers right off the bat. So for example, 80 and 12 hundredths, well, I can think that's close to 80 and 9 and 4 tenths is close to 10. Those are both compatible numbers that can uh, give us an estimate. Now we didn't use any particular rounding rules there but it was just kind of number sense and seeing that we had two numbers close to compatible numbers that would give us an estimate. So 80 divided by 10 equals eight. So we have two estimates there, nine or eight. And you can see they're both very close to each other. So they are both good estimates, just two different strategies. The exact answer for number two, again, is a very long decimal. So I rounded to the hundredths place and it's eight and 52 hundredths. So basically right in between our two estimates. So again, both great estimates, just two different strategies. On to number three, where we have 403 and 9 tenths divided by 
7 and 22 hundredths. So again, I'm going to use two different strategies for this one. First being, let's round our divisor to the nearest whole number. So 7 and 22 hundredths is going to round to 7. 403 and 9 tenths, we need to think of a compatible number with 7. Now that's a that's a three digit number there. So my suggestion would be take a look at the first two digits. And we have 40 there. Now there are compatible numbers within the 40s with 7. And 42 is close to 40. So let's round 403 and 9 tenths to 420. We found a compatible number within that three digit number. So the three digit numbers are a little bit harder than the one or two digit numbers, but it's still doable. So now we can do 42 divided by seven, which is six, and place our zero back on the end to push that six to the correct place value. So our first estimate is 60. The other strategy we could use is just taking a look um, at the problem as a whole like we did for number two and finding two compatible numbers. So if I were to look at this problem as a whole, I could think of this as 40 and make it 400 and think of the second number, the divisor there, as 8 because I know 40 and 8 are compatible. So 40 divided by 8 would give me 5 and then place our zero back on the end to push that five to, to the um, correct place value and we get an estimate of 50. So 60 or 50. Now the exact answer to number three is going to be again a very long decimal so I rounded to the nearest hundredths place. It's going to be 55 and 94 hundredths. So again, you can see that our estimates were very close to the exact answer. Now that exact answer is almost directly in between our estimates. The first one of 60 is a little bit closer. So the closer you round to the original problem, the better your estimate is going to be. But again, both good estimates there. And on to number four, uh, where we have 592 and 6 tenths divided by 19 and 17 hundredths. Now the first strategy we've been using where we round to the nearest whole isn't going to be the best strategy for this problem. And here's why. So if we take a look at the divisor, the number we're dividing by, and round to the nearest whole, well, the ones place here, looks next door, 19 and 17 hundredths rounds to 19. So 19 is not an easy number to work with. So finding a compatible number there is going to be uh, fairly difficult. So not sure off the top of my head what's going to be compatible with 19 that's close to 592 and 6 tenths. So what I would do with number 4 is round 19 and 17 hundredths to 20. 20 is a much easier number to work with. It's going to be easier to find a compatible number with 20 than it is 19. And again, estimation is about rounding and manipulating the problem to figure problems out in your head or with minimal work. So make it as easy on yourself as possible. Find strategies that work for you. So then I would take a look at 592 and 6 tenths and I would think, okay, I can round to 600 there and that's going to be compatible with 20. So I could do 60 divided by 20 there, which is three, and place my zero on the end to push the three to the correct place value, and that's going to give me an estimate of 30. The exact answer is a very long decimal, so I rounded to the hundredths place once again and got 30 and 91 hundredths. So we can compare there, and we can see that we got a great estimate there. So there you have it. There's how you estimate decimal quotients. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.